Good day, mates. How's it going? My name's AGO, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Let us just take in the moment here, for day 14 is upon us, and we're going, only going to really have one beautiful imagery, really, before shit hits the fan. So let's just watch this sunrise, just for a little while, before I go over everything. Ah, beautiful. Right. So yes, yeah, so I've done some renovating on this house. As you can see here, the roof has been completely changed. It actually took a couple of nights to do, and uh, oh, nearly, nearly thought that was the end of me there. As you can see, the roof has been completely rebuilt. Ignore that one iron reinforced block, as always. Um, I'm still yet to do this part. I've started to work on it. Just that like one extra block there. I'll get there when I get there. Not too worried about it just yet. I've also gone through the comments of the last one, or comment, from my mate Kyle, as always, giving me some tips. I took out the bottom ladder here. Ladder, sorry, not ladder. Make it a little bit harder for the zombies. I've moved the boxes up. Just that one bit. Oh, hello. I didn't notice you. Or you. It's actually the first time I'm noticing some of these blocks are not completed. Huh. How about that? Anyway, so yes, the boxes are no longer on the floor. Um, I took into account the whole, uh, every five days if you're going past them thing, they do not actually re... they do not resupply, so it'd be best to just rip them apart if you're if you're in the vicinity. And I just realised I am absolutely starving, so where's my... I don't have any boiled eggs. What happened to my boiled eggs? Ah, oh, who cares. So yes, it's been... it's actually... it was actually rather crazy on day 13. You guys wouldn't have seen it because I didn't record it, for starters, but it was just insane, the amount of shit that went down, all because I was off hunting. Excuse me. I went off in the hunt of mechanical parts, which I was, by the way, successful in finding. However, there was a problem with that. I, um, got, I nearly got 69 by a few hordes. It did not end well for me, really. As such, I, I haven't died. I still haven't died. Just getting that out there now. I didn't die. But I, I can admit that I was actually a little terrified of the fact that I'd probably die enough to go out in search of all my shit. Not something you'd want to do. Yeah, it did not, it, I did, yeah, I didn't end as well as I thought it would, but I still managed to survive. I did go through a med pack, I did manage to get more though, thanks to day 13's airdrop. That's pretty much it, really, it was kind of crazy yesterday. I did manage to secure some mechanical parts, but I'm still five short of what I need. I'm also a wrench down, I am now using my crappiest wrench. Even my backup wrench, the one before this one is gone, which really does suck. I did buy, build a new bow though, I am a little happy about that. Let me just check. And there's, I haven't had a wandering horde. Like, I didn't have one yesterday. I was expecting it, I was actually prepared for it if I'm completely honest. But no, not a thing happened. I, oh no, I need to get rid of that. Is there a way I can get rid of that? Oh, I can't reach it from down here. Dang it! I'll need to figure out something about that, actually. Did I get rid of my... I did. Alright, so, today's goal is pretty much the same as usual. Go out, do a little bit of searching, you know. I'm going to get rid of my flashlight and my barb club and put them back in my inventory. I'm going to go out and find some more things that I can loot mechanical parts from. Mainly cars. Uh, I'm going back to the back gas station today, because where I went on day 13 was I went to the scrapyard. There's a scrapyard in the desert. I'll actually show you on the map real quickly. So yes, there's me there. There's the gas. There's the scrapyard. I managed to get maybe 10 or 12 mechanical parts in total from that. And I went back to the house that's over that way and found the um, uh, air cooler. I think that's what you want to call it. Uh, I took that bastard apart and got, um, I think I got two extra mechanical parts, which did bring my total up to 12. 
for yesterday. So yeah, there was that. I haven't really had much excitement, really. I do have a gun back at home. I do have a gun now. However, it wasn't the gun I was expecting, and it's one I'm not familiar with just yet. I've used it, and I'm not bad with it, but I'm going to need practice. What I got was the hunting rifle. It was only a level, it's only a level 40, so it's not really that good in quality, but well-placed headshot, they fall. They fall like dominoes. It's really good. I actually really enjoy using it. Um, even though I don't know how to, I, I do enjoy using it. Uh, the only problem with it is there's no scope, and adjusting to not having a scope is the most difficult part for me, because if a sniper rifle does not have a scope on it, I cannot use it to save my life. Literally, I could have a horde of zombies on me, and I'll probably miss a headshot and just get him in the neck, which still leaves him coming towards me and ganging up on me and potentially ripping me to shreds. <laughs> so yes, I've rambled on enough. It is day 14. That does mean that there is a lot to prepare for. There is an airdrop coming. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm actually anticipating a lot for day 14 because it is on a high difficulty and the spawn rate has been increased a lot. So, yeah, this could be rather fun. So I'm going to continue, I'm going to raid the rest of Pass and Gas here, see if I can find more mechanical parts, see if I can find a new wrench. That'd be terrific. And, um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all I've got. So I'll see you guys. What the hell? I'll see you guys when the airdrop happens. Cheers. Alright, so I'm back guys. I'm just going to quickly show you because it is still an hour and a half before we have to go do the airdrop, but I can make a little workbench now. I'm so happy. I got seven mechanical parts. I met my quota and I went straight past it. I was so happy when I saw that. Um, yeah, so now that we've got that sorted, um, oh yeah, I need to get this too. Uh, bigger than this. And in the storage, because I do not want that drama. Um, as you can see, I also got a lot of stock with the honey now. And I've got some potatoes as well. I've got some potatoes. Oh, wait, should I have made stew? Oh, oh no, I don't have corn. Okay, we're good. It's going to take a while before I can get the corn. Uh, dysentery? Like, why do I have... Why do I have to worry about dysentery? Why is that a thing? That should not be a thing. Where's my hammer? Did I put my hammer away? No, I used it. That's right. And my forged steel is looking a little... Oh no, forged iron. And my forged diamonds looking a little sad, so let's make another uh, thirty. I mean, I've got the, I've got the amount of stuff I need for it. Um, what's going to be happening in between this forge day now, the one that I'm on now, and the next one is that I will be um, building a mine. That sounds very Minecrafty, but the thing is. It's very beneficial, especially for this game, because you need the iron. And raw iron that can be changed into iron, or iron in the forge, is very good. Along with the sand, you'll get the stone, the freaking lead. Everything is just going to be so much better. And I will be building it out there. Now, I will be making a lot of renovations, and I will be, I'll admit, I'll do a little cheat, a little, little tiny cheat, which is, I'll be changing the hours from what they are now, which is 50 minutes per 24 hours a day in the game, to two hours. That will actually mean that I won't be having as many days every time I record, which is, you know, it's up to the it's up to the person really. If you can do that, you can. I've tested out the two hours per twenty four hours thing, and it's really good. Workbench is done, and the amount of stuff I got done in the one day was impressive, to say the least. It really was. I was so amazed with myself, and yet at the same time it was like, wow, I've been playing this. Because I played three days in a row, and it was 8 o'clock at night I started, I was like, wow, it is currently midnight, 
and I've been playing this game for six hours. And I've only gone ahead in three days. It felt like, oh my god, that is so much time. Oh. Perfect timing. I was just about out of things to say. Oh, we're in. We are in our own biome this time. Fair enough. Actually, I better make sure that this does not overuse all my fuel. Yeah, turn that shit off. Give me that forged iron and I'll put that shit right back where it belongs. Dunk. Right. My biggest problem with this being in the biome is that I know which direction hordes usually come from in this biome when they're just wandering. They are coming from the direction it is fucking in. Oh, oh it's not that far. But yes, wandering hordes, every time I've encountered one on any playthrough that's come in the burnt forest biome, it's come from the direction I am currently running. So if there is one heading my way right now through this biome, I'm probably going to get fucked. I'm probably going to get I do not have my gun on me. And that only has 28 bullets to use. It's not like I can really count on it. But now that I have a workbench, I should be able to improve on it. Act now that I'm thinking about it, this, this actually works out rather well. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Quickly raid this. Untouched. Now it's touched. Untouched. Oh. Ah, oh, it's really not that far now that I look at it. Oh, if I only have my rifle. I'd wreck some bitches here. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh! Wait, what? How? Do they have, like, extra sensory... Like, do they have bullshit of senses or some crap like that? Oh, whatever. Oh, you know, I'm not even gonna bother hiding from these guys. Not a headshot, but it will do... Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I am... I am literally on fire. Neat. Quickly search. Ooh, you got you got some tokens on you. Alright. Now, one of the worst things that has happened to me when I've been collecting a supply crate on my other playthrough, it hasn't happened on this one yet, it has not happened here, is... That is a lot of first aid kits. Is I've just gotten the crate and I've made it back to this biome, because I was coming from the biome just a little further over there, which is actually a forest biome. And as I just got back in this, in my home biome, I got jumped by three dogs. And I did not have any of my weapons on my fast bar. So yeah. At the time, I had no idea what I was going to expect when I got back home. And the next thing I knew was, I was getting wrecked. Really quickly. <laughs> and, holy crap, I... I think I literally jumped like it was a pro- the, This is the horror aspect of the game. It scared the shit out of me. I did not expect it. I did not hear it coming. I had the volume turned up way too high. So the first thing on- The first indication I had that I was about to die was the dog growl in my ear. And that sounded- No, not detected. Okay. I thought I could hear a dog growl because I'm talking about it. It's like, yep, yeah, that's my fucking irony. Um, and yeah, it just scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> And when I realised what it, what I was supposed to do, I was too late, and I had already started bleeding out. And as I just finished killing the damn puppies with a club that's better than this one is the nail club, which you need forged steel for. After I had finished pummeling the little poochies that had decided to scare the absolute shit out of me, I died from bleeding out. True story. And you know what? It was on a low difficulty with minimum spawns. The bare minimum. Not disable spawns. It still had spawns, but it was the bare motherfucking minimum. So yeah. Not a good day. <laughs> that was not a good day. I was able to recover everything, luckily, but it increased my death count dramatically. Right, so I think that's enough for story time. I've covered enough. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on improving all these parts now that I have a workbench. I'm just going to put the nitrate, what is it? Nitrate, it's just nitrate powder. Okay, fair enough. 
I'll see if I've got any raw... No, I do not. Okay. So, yeah, every little bit helps. I'm just going to start building up on it. So, yes, I'm going to just be tinkering around with the guns in here for now, and I'll see you guys when I'm finished. Alrighty guys, it is on a 10 to 9 on the clock, which means it is, oh, 46 skill points. Have I not been paying attention? Anyway, it is almost time, which means time to get rid of some of the unnecessaries and grab the necessities. Where is it? Where is it? Wait, oh, it's already mine. Okay, so, hunting rifle equipped, SMG equipped, club equipped. This shit goes away. That's not ammunition. Where's ammunition? Ammunition is here. Okay. Time to show you guys a little something else as well. If things get too insane, we have a rocket launcher. There we go. Alright. Alright. Anything else I need? Nope. I can't build any weapons or any guns either. I tried. I looked at it like, why do you no work? It turns out it not work because it dumb. <clears throat> it real dumb. Oh, I also, while I was waiting, added on to the building by adding a little ledge for me to run around on and, you know, shoot shit with when they're trapped in the traps underneath. See? It barely covers it, so... Uh, it just covers it, so that means it's not really good. But, if I'm patient enough, Aim with this, and they usually come from over the hill anyway, so it's not like it bothers me. And add in the simple fact I have a ladder here as well, which means I could just wait. Hey, what the hell? It means I could just jump on the roof. Would you go up the ladder? There we go. Ah, 20 minutes till D Day. Wait, what the? Oh, I forgot to grab the rocket launcher. Oh no, I thought I grabbed it. Oh dear. Okay, get back, 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 get I got the rockets. I have the actual rockets. That's a plot. That's a bonus. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. <sighs> I honestly thought I'd scrapped it for some reason. And I'm looking back like, why would I scrap it? But, you know, panic mode. You think a lot of stupid shit. Two minutes till D Day. Here they come. Here's a proper bird's eye view of the situation at hand. Let's get the flashlight out. They usually come from the... Ah, there they are. Here they are. Right oh. I was about to shoot. I will not lie. I was about to shoot. I'm not that stupid. Oh no. They're through! Shit! Get down! Well! Caution to the wind then! Um... This is bad! Wait, I might be able to fuck with them. I might be able to fuck with them. You know what? I know I should have got rid of the door. Probably should have. I have no regrets. Absolutely none. Oh, but this is getting kind of boring. Um, hi, Mr. Glitch Through My Door. Well, at least I can search them. <laughs> I can search them through my door. Unreal. Oh, I'm already making a good start. Bloated Walker has some food. Don't know if that's supposed to be a joke or not. Ooh, bullet casings. I'll take that shit any day of the week. Do -do 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 -do. I'm just being casual now. <laughs> I know they're right outside my door, and if I'm not careful, they will potentially come and fuck me up. But you see, when it's like this, I have no worries. Oh, that's a worry. 
Why did I do that? Overalls. Oh, just a quest. Oh, I knew I forgot to do something. I forgot to lay out the extra spikes. Right, do I have the spares? I don't have spares. What? I specifically remember making spare tracks. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, um... Right, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, look at that, there they are. I'll make four. When I get time, I'll lay them out. And hope for the best. Ooh. Corn seeds. I'm gonna lay that shit out later. Get me some corn growing in this lovely burnt biome. That was racist. That was so racist of me. Now I put the corn seeds away. And put that shit away. Uh, no. Ah, uh, that's not good. I'm getting hit. I just wanted to prepare that and lay out some traps, dudes. Come your shit. Uh, I dislodged him. Alright. Uh, well, this is not what I was expecting to do today. For this. And we are locking up. Oh dear. Well, I'm experimenting for the most part. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll just quickly search. Ooh, excellent. Yeah, I need to get rid of these corpses. I do not have an appropriate weapon for this. Oh fuck, can I lay out the traps? Oh, there's no point. There. Well, this was a bust. As soon as I realized what was going on, everything was fucked. Everything got fucked. Absolutely everything. All because I made one simple mistake. However, at least this horde day, everything is a lot more exciting. How'd you get so close? Fuck you. I'll let you fucking hit me. Huh. You really did hit me. Oh, screw this. I'm using the, I'm using the SMG for the first time. This thing is fucking devastating. Holy shit, this thing is awesome. Why have I not been using it? Oh, it's because I've done enough ammunition. I just realised. Oh my god, they fucked up everything. They have fucked up everything. Why am I being so casual about a zombie apocalypse? Fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck this. I'm out, bitches. I need to, like, um, get a splint on my leg. There we go. Well, I have a few hours to kill. At least I know where they'll all be. Problem is that I'm torn between destroying the door so that they, they yeah, I might have to destroy the door. Again, this thing gives me protection, dude. This is not ideal. It's far from it. And the thing is, I can hear them running around on every side, too, so they're trying to make their way. Problem is... Anyway, problem is... Would... Just... Leave it. Problem is, um... They, the ones that are coming from the front are getting straight to the door. I 
I'm tempted. I'm really fucking tempted. Should I just let them destroy the door? Might make things a little more interesting. Um, actually, yeah, you are not allowed. Taking my time. Taking my time. Oh, that was not taking my time. That was. I love this gun. I love this one too. The guns are awesome! Why do I only have them two and the rubber launcher? The rubber launcher I've never actually gotten to use though. But its devastation would be too much for my wooden house to bear. Whoa. The absolute fuckery. Alright. Down on the same level. Use the crosshair. Oh, how am I not kidding him? It's dead on and his head's through there. That time I was just impatient. See, that time it worked. I wasn't even aiming. I was just... Wait, 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 wait! Time for a retreat. I open the door and I let one in. Get up the ladder. Well, at least I know where they are. Problem is, they can find me now. Would you just fucking die? That's better. Alright, can I climb down? We've got a pandemic on our hands. I'm fucking around with this. And my door needs repairing something fierce. Yeah, there we go. Fuck it, I had a heart attack when I let that bastard in. Whoo, never again. Good news is we've only got an hour and a half to go, so I'll be able to risk it in about an hour. See, they're fucking right there. They're being stupid. There's another one. See, look at that. I've got 56 points now. I've leveled up twice during this. Oh, that's a dead one. Okay. Oh, wait. That means... Yeah, he's going to get fucked. Oh, fuck this. Hey, look. You're on my traps. Oh, no. Quick. Get behind the fucking door and use a first aid kit. That, that was stupid of me. It really was. I don't know why I keep expecting to make it through that perfectly fine. There, yeah, look. Yeah, you. You're the one that's doing damage. Fucking die. Oh, thank you. Now, there was something going on and I, it was interesting to see what the hell was going on. So I'm going to go check it out. Yeah, look, they have no idea. I can't even hit them with the bow. I could probably hit them with a sniper rifle, but... Yeah. Alright, so hit him. He didn't get dislodged. Hit him. Alright, uh, now he is dislodged. That would mean that their numbers down there have increased. Oh, shit. What have I done? Oh, shit. What have I done? Quickly check this. Nothing. Excellent. No, 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 you're not allowed to break the fucking... Oh my god. Yeah. Well, this... Um, this took a turn for the worst. Ah, it's only half an hour left. Open the door, let them in. Come on. I'm waiting. You cannot be serious when you cannot be serious, right? Look at them all! Look at all the bodies I'm going to be searching! They're a lot. Fucking... Whoa! He got over! Now he's dead. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to search his comrades. What have you got? You got food! What do you think you're doing? Seriously? You know, I'm gonna stand back. 
Let me get some practice in. He's pushing another dead body in front of him, so strategic zombie is strategic as shit. But guess what? You can't outsmart me. Hit all aspects! Morning. Made it. <laughs> Whoa. That is a blue. Haven't seen one of those yet. Oh, shit. Well, the zombie numbers here have decreased dramatically, so I think I'm good. They managed to destroy several of my traps, which means I might have to reconsider practically everything. Awesome! I think that's all the zombies. Yeah, that's all of them. I'm going to take this and increase my wellness. That Saying that, wow, that was a lot better than night seven. Night fourteen, oh mate, your increased difficulty and everything about you, spot on, never change. What is this? Two short iron pipes. The fuck? Ah, oh, there must have been a zombie that you know, died and dropped them. No, no, no. I want to do this. There we go. Right, what have you got? Old sham sandwich. Why? I can't do anything with this drop. Now, what have you got? Ooh, iron hood schematic. I don't think I can reach you. Yeah, I can just barely reach you. What have you got? You got fucking nothing as well. What is the point in these zombies if they don't carry shit? Oh my god. No, wait, I just realised. How the Fuck, am I going to get out of this mess? I've trapped myself. Good and proper. Well, I'm going to put my guns away before I use them all. That's something I do not want. I'm going to get all my other shit back. Is that everything? I don't think that's everything. That doesn't look like everything. I'm going to grab the bone as well, which I've increased dramatically. Let's put the ammunition away. Rockets. Bullets. Put all this shit away too while I'm at it. Why the fuck not? Oh shit, I just had a brain fart. What was I doing? Alright. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, medication. What am I doing? There is a lot I'm questioning about myself right now. <laughs> Alright, let's put everything else away. Even that, I don't really need that. And we will equip the pickaxe, the axe, and the bone saw. Bone shiv, sorry. Well, this could take a while. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've wasted some iron, but hey, I've got plenty to replace. So, that was day 14 with a higher spawn rate and higher difficulty. That wrecked me because of that one fucking door. I didn't die, thank Christ for that. If I died because of that, I would have been so pissed. Like, I'm majorly pissed. Luckily, I didn't. I do have some renovating to do now, though. I will be increasing the day time for, like, in between the videos for two hours for one day to pass. So that means that there's a lot of content that it will not be appearing on this channel because of the sheer fact that I do not like to... Uh, after the seventh day, I'm not going to be continuously putting out... Like, oh look, I did this today. I don't want to do that. I'll tell you guys I've done it, but what's the point in making all the videos about it? It's like watching someone play Minecraft from start to finish until they've built the Millennium Falcon. How boring. If it was sped up, yeah, that's great. That's fine. I don't mind that shit. I actually, I'm intrigued by that shit, even if it is Minecraft. I don't like knocking Minecraft either. It was the first series I ever did on the channel. So I can't knock it. Problem is, compared to this, Minecraft's tame. Minecraft is so tame. But enough of that. I've blabbered enough. It is time for me to end this video. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Seven Days to Die. If you did like it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and go check out links down below to the Seven Days to Die playlist as well as all my social medias and be sure to subscribe, like, and follow. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.